welcome to Rainbow Face Creations streaming well, video. Anyway, today I have decided to try out an app for face painting for beginners and it is called Face Painting 123 as you can see and they got a variety of different designs to go by. Basic designs but usually they're quite popular a lot of these ones that I can see and I think what I'm going to go with is the snake because it's quite universal it's good for both boy or girl so get up the advert there is a few adverts on it so it's basically it shows you what you'll need so I've got the paints here so we want in a green white and brown and black my green's not exactly like the green they've got there but it's not far off so I've got all the paints I need ready just take the lids off and as you can see I'm using this dummy here but it's a bit worse for wear because it's used quite a lot <laughs> call a dolly so I'm going to use a bit of powder actually just to so the paint might stick better and this is starburst it's just it's a bit of a coating I don't think it'll do an awful lot but give it a go it's not really sh working on here it's just a basic really base coat That way. So I've got three brushes that I'm going to use. It doesn't suggest what brush to use on the app. So I'm going to try some of these ones I have. This one's an angle brush. I thought that might be good for the tail at the end. But maybe, depending on the child's size of the face, it might be better to use this one over a one inch brush because that might be too big and for my details I'm just using a long thin brush <laughs> I don't know the right name for that it's like a pet liner to line in with which I prefer these with the longer rather than the shorter ones because I feel I've more control over that even over it, the smaller one. Okay, so let's see what we need. So we've got the paints we need. We move on to the next page, and it's saying we have to do an outline. But I feel if you're going to be doing an event, it take too long. So I think I'm going to go straight in. And use my flat angle brush and do the whole block colour. So I'm just going to put a bit of water on there and start with the green. Make sure we've got plenty on the brush, nice coverage. Okay, so they're going diagonal that way. I'm going to go the opposite. Obviously I'll start facing down here. And then sort of try and move the brush onto its side to bring it up. It's quite difficult painting on rubber, a rubber head. It's not the same as skin. Obviously we're not rubber. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it up. Because I mean, you wouldn't have time really to do this line work. If you had lots of children waiting behind, and then she's going to 
straight down here to the mouth. It's not quite thick there, but let's go for it. And then let's do the face. Sort of like a heart shape. So I'll use the angle of the brush and I'll just go round, take it down, do the same on the other side, and then my heart doesn't do that. And not to get it on the lips because you want the red to shine through, well, come through for the actual lips of the snake. Bring that down. There we go. Bring them bits in. Okay, that looks very good. And we'll thicken this a bit here with it being closer. So nearer to you so obviously going in the distance so that the tail and then we can go over it a little bit if it's okay and I think I've done it a little differently they've obviously come around here but I'm quite happy with that Right, so now let's see what they say to do next, which is probably what we've just done, filling it out. Now obviously I've already done the hole marks in. Um, so we'll go to the next one. Let's have a look. Same as one, doesn't it? Oh, it's just put the white in the eyes. So we'll put white in the eyes. Actually, I'll change to the this brush here. It's more of a this is better dots with that one than the finer one. This is definitely more for line work. this get, get some white I'm just sort of gonna bring that around to try and get a nice sharp point for the, the eyes It. So that shouldn't be too bad. We'll go over that later. Okay, there's the eyes. So what's next? So we're doing diamonds all the way up and I've used the brown for that. I think what I'll do is do the diamonds near the tail, but I'm thinking rather than copying their actual diamonds there to use this stencil I've got, which might look more effective. So I'm going to get a sponge, just put a bit of brown on here. Like 
might just save a bit of time as well. Because you hand painted diamonds in. Yeah, I think that looks more effective. In fact, you know, I'm not even going to bother with the diamonds. I'll just do it all the way up the tail. Baby wipe her hand and just, but I mean, once you do the lining, you can probably go over that if you want to do. I don't even know what the next step is yet, I'm just guessing. <laughs> I think that was quite snaky like. Maybe we will do the triangular shapes now just to finish this slimmer side, slimmer end of the tail. We've done that, let's see what's next. And yeah, she's done an outline with black. So we'll move on to the lining brush. Put some black. And we're gonna go around the outside. here and you don't have to follow it all around and stop drying up like this Curve around. Let's 
see what's next and I think that's it now this is quite a popular one I've seen a lot of kids wearing this snake design I think I'm going to finish the eyes off here a bit more black on there We could use turn to this brush rather than have to paint the whole eyes in, just dab it with the end of the brush. A bit of time. I might add some red to the lips. Just so bring the red out. There we go. I always use Nazaru paint. I think it's a good one. Washes off kids' faces nice and it's trusted company. We all know Nazaru, so it's always good to stick with a reliable make. There is other good ones out there, but this is just my preference. If you have any comments, if you like what I've done with the stencil, or you think it could be a better way, faster way, drop a comment and subscribe. Turn that a bit up there. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, it's simple to do, quick, and it's quite it's effective. And obviously, when the child's moving the mouth, it's all animated. So yeah, so this was from this is the snake design on face paint in one two three app, and it's free. You can download it on Google Store. So yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.